A lot of people want to say you're studying the brain and they want to know what disease. And I sort of want to know how it works in health. And as a chemist studying the brain, the question is, how do you make it simpler? And so I started looking at things like sea slugs, which have 10,000 neurons, but they, and they can learn what to eat, what not to eat, how to find a mate. So the same types of behaviors maybe you would expect. And so we started looking at animals across the animal kingdom, the metazoan, and we've worked with quite a few. And, and some of the hardest ones are when the animals are hard to get. You know, we, you know, we, we did some work on Decidicus gigas, this is giant squid that's found several thousand feet deep, except in La Nina years. And so then what do you do when you can't get them? Uh, and so those, those are hard because the samples aren't always around and it's a little bit awkward. The thing that I have found actually kind of interesting and gratifying is actually that no matter what animal we work with, from a human sample to a, a sea slug to a coral, they still use the same molecules. And so in some ways, as we get better on a simpler system, it really applies to working with, say, primates or, or humans. And so um, the hardest projects were the ones in the past. And now that things work well, um, in some ways, a lot of them are a little bit easier.